this video I'm going to be talking all about basic training. So preparation to get ready for it, the mindset to get through it, and what basic training may look like for you. Welcome back to another video if you're always here back every week and if not hello my name is Luke and welcome to Ranger Media. This is a military oriented channel and it's about um, what could we say? I would say it's like a hobby of filmmaking and photography, combining them together uh, with my day job, which you probably could have guessed is a soldier in the British Army, specifically to the infantry. And what you're going to find then is if you are new here, is a load of uh, videos like this, talking head, um, giving you information on how to join the army, um, but then also just sort of basing it on my experiences and my advice to them types of people. If you have no sort of intentions whatsoever of joining the British Army, for whatever reason, uh, it's that entertainment side of stuff as well, but with that sort of military twang on it, uh, because that's what I'm all about. That's my life, um, and that's a big part of my life. Um, so yes, everything for everyone. Uh, if it's something you would like, please consider liking and subscribing. I know it's just one of these things I've got to call to action every sort of week, but I'll leave it down here. It will cost you about half a calorie of energy just to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed and you do like it, you don't have to, but if you do, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Uh, the bell icon will uh, keep you up to date with any sort of future content. So if I ping something up, uh, you'll be aware that there's something new and you can catch up on it if you can't get up at that time. I have to do the introductions, uh, just in case someone new is here. To everyone then and keeps calling back, let's get amongst this one. So this one then is, uh, I have to jump, is from a guy called The Scat Man. It's not just him, there's quite a few people asking about sort of basic training. So here we go then, a basic training video. Okay then, first thing I want to talk about is prep. I'm just going to skim over the top of this because a few of the three things I'm going to pull out off the preparation are their own videos in themselves. But it's just that sort of basic sort of overview and then we can drop it in the comment section if you would like to go through each, a specific one in more detail in its own video because you can go way off and go down all sorts of rabbit holes with them. But the first one is physical fitness. It doesn't matter if you're joining the infantry, RLC driver, you know, postman, signaller, engineer, whatever it is. You know, you got to be physically fit. Short, it's a physically demanding step, job, as in the scope. British Army as a whole. Yes, it, other trades open. will be more demanding than others, but as a whole, you're a soldier first before you go to your trade. So you've got to hit the fitness. Now, if you've been through the assessment centre and stuff be uh, beforehand, uh, they will have given you advice on what to work on, uh, to work on before you go to training. But I'm a big a bit of advice for arriving at basic. For, you got to come fit, but do not come tired and burnt out. So don't be thrashing yourself, through flipping. I don't know, 10 mile runs every day, all the way up until you go to basic training, because you're arriving, uh, your body's gonna be tired and it's not gonna be ready for the demands of the physical training there. If you're not a physically active person, then yes, you gotta get the flipping trainers tied up and hit the tarmac and get out there. Uh, regards to sort of weightlifting and all that sort of stuff, uh, personally, I would, before you go into basic training, just stay away from it. Uh, you know, beach bodies and all that type of stuff, everyone loves it, love weights, lifting weights themselves, but you gotta train for your event. Uh, and you know basic training you don't need to have big biceps and that sort of stuff you've got to have a, an all-round um, you know fitness you've got to be flexible endurance fit um, you know and, and good and conditioned for what's going to happen during training because battle fitness is going to be a big thing as well uh, in there so come fully rested and good to go whenever you go through basic training you come out the other end then you can get into the gym uh, and come concentrate on other different aspects of whatever you know uh, parts of sort of uh, fitness you like to do uh, the other bit then is kit and I don't mean buying like kit and equipment as in like webbing and all the sort of fancy stuff you get when you get the unit uh, but it's the big things like you know your uh, iron iron board you know boot, pro uh, boot polish brushes boot polish if you know if you have to shave razors uh, you know females whatever you need for use um, there is shops and stuff on camp, but you, what you got to remember is when you arrive in that first week, you're, the stress levels are going to be up there. You're going to be so much in the clouds. It's going to be a completely new situation what you're in. You're going to be asked to do loads of things. The last thing you want to be doing is running around trying to get all these sort of small bits in the shops and camp during the evening, as well as preparing your stuff for the next day. Because at the same time, these are going to be big massive intakes. And if everyone has that same sort of mindset, then it means, you know, all the stuff, all the supplies are going to be dwindled. And then you're going to be left worrying them because it's a completely new environment. As, as much work you can do beforehand, 
do it. Now that doesn't mean break the bank balance. If you're not in a financial state to be able to do that, then don't. Uh, you will get sort of a cash payment when you arrive into training, um, like an advance of pay it's called, uh, and that will sort of uh, enable you then to get the stuff within camp. Now if you don't arrive to training, whether it be Purbright or Catrick with this sort of stuff, you know, the instructors aren't gonna destroy you. Don't flap about that, but you gotta, you know, speak. You gotta give the sort of uh, why you haven't got it. Uh, and but normally, anyway, that first week it's fine because they realise it, it's like use your brand new to the situation. They're trying to work you out as well. And um, but I would just advice would be get as much as you can. And if you are, I know it doesn't set any sort of packing list. Get passport photographs before you come. It will make an instructor's life so much more easier and less sort of stressful that first week. If you come with passport photographs, four of them. It's not on the packing list, but that's my advice. Bring it to training. Right, so the big, so I'm going to cut training itself down to beginning, middle, and end. This is going to really broad brush over it. You're so, you could do, you go down so many rabbit holes with basic training and all the different aspects. We'll be here all night on a video. Um, so the beginning, then broad brush. You're going to arrive. We, we get it. You're going to be stressed out when you're arriving. You're probably going to have a little bit of anxiety, anxious. That is all completely normal. Um, if you're not slightly nervous going through the gates, there's something wrong with you. If you're nervous and you've got that, the butterflies and anxiety in your stomach. That means you care. That means you care that you want to be there and that you want to get through that process. That is a good feeling to have and embrace it. Just acknowledge you've got it and let it float away and then go straight through them gates, chin up and ready to change your life. Look at that there for an inspiring speech. Right, you're going to arrive there, depending on where you go, Purbright uh, or Catrick or, or wherever it is, you're going to be split into groups. So what these groups are called is platoons, if you're like infantry training centre, and then I believe Purbright is uh, troops, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and that is the sort of big team that you're going to work with the whole way through training. So Purbright, 14 weeks, I think, uh, infantry training centre, six months. Um, and within that sort of platoon slash troop, you will be broken down into three further teams. Depending on the size of your course, you might have four, but they're called sections. I have normally around, what have you got normally? You've normally maybe eight to 10 people, so uh, recruits, uh, and then you'll be led by one such commander uh, who's a corporal. So he or she will be your personal trainer as such, if you don't look at them that way. Um, they will you know, they will teach you everything you need to know, uh, how to dress properly, how to iron your kit, all your field tactics, uh, take you on theory lessons. They will be your mentor uh, throughout the whole course. You're going to push out the next sort of six six-ish weeks is going to be high, it's going to be intensive. The reason why it's intensive is because you're not used to it. You're not used to it at all. Um, it doesn't matter what part of life you've come from. This is completely different. You're going to be thrown into a, a big group of people who you've never met before and from they're from all different walks of life that you're maybe not used to in your normal civilian life and you're suddenly put into this sort of stressful situation together. You're going to be up late-ish at night, up early in the morning, but that whole period that you're up, you're going to be working. This is nothing to be worried about. Everything I'm telling you now will be shown to you. No one want, when you arrive there, an instructor does not want you to fail. They want to get you through. That doesn't mean they're going to open the back door and go, away you go off to your unit. Because at the end of the day, like I said, your instructor, it's like they're putting a stamp on you. Like this is what I've trained and off to the field army. What they're looking at, specifically the infantry now, is what we'd look at is our regiment are, are, are off at the front and we're training everyone to go forward. We know exactly what they're going through at the front, as in your regiment, all the sort of operations, uh, overseas exercises, especially infantry, all the live fire, well not even just infantry, artillery, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's a dangerous job we do. We're not going to send someone forward who's not capable of the job because we're jacking off our teammates who we've spent a whole career with together. That doesn't mean we're going to stop people from going, it just means we're going to help you, mentor you the whole way through that training to make sure you're in the best possible standard you can be. You just need to listen and put 110% into everything you do. You're going to have your bad days, you're going to have your good days. Your good days will outweigh the bad days, right? Got that done, the beginning. It's going to be a lick, it's going to be new. Just listen, stay focused, teamwork and get through it. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is the middle. So in the middle-ish area, this is where you're going to, after that sort of week six, you're going to start doing the sort of tactical sort of stuff in the field. So your intro axes, so learning how to sort of put a shelter up, so you know, the, the pot, so it's like a waterproof sheeting um, to sleep under, uh, how to sleep under it properly, what way to have your kit laid out tactically, uh, how to put calm on, how to put like foliage on yourself to help calm, how to cook your food, how to wash out in the field, how to patrol. Um, that's all the field sort of stuff. You'll be doing weapon handling um, stuff back Montreal. in camp. 
uh, medical stuff, up, all up. this sort of stuff is going to be happening. So a little bit, that we've got that sort of base get standard now to work on. We now know that you can iron your clothes and you can get up and you can run and do fitness and stuff. So now you're going to start pushing a bit more, massaging them skills in a little bit deeper. If you're an infantry training centre, you're going to roll straight into phase two training. Per bright, you have that sort of pass off parade and then you'll go away now and do your, um, you might get a little bit of leave and then you'll go to wherever you're going to do your phase two training in your specific, specific core. But that's the best part of Catrick because it then it becomes uh, like week in camp, week out of camp, week in camp, week out of camp and um, the whole way through. So it's really, really fast and furious, which is good because it makes it go quicker. But it's also going to do a lot more uh, interesting stuff. So them exercises that you're out of camp, you're in the first one, um, it was where you would concentrate on your sort of offensive actions, so all your attacks, like your small team attacks, which are called section and fire team attacks. Um, this is all blank fine. Uh, you'll do that for a week. Uh, everything will be taught to you. You'll, it'll finish off with a couple of assessments at the very end of the week, uh, and that'll be it. Just give yourself 100%. Then you have your weekend off. Your weekend then, you prep all your stuff for the next week. Do this every week. So this doesn't matter, even if you're in Perb, right? and you haven't passed out, before you've passed out, getting muddled up here, prep all your stuff that weekend off. Prep it before you go and de-stress. Yes, de-stress, you need to, you'll be on hyperdrive all week. You need to sort of let it flip and relax a bit before you're going back into hyperdrive again. But square away all your, square away all your administration on the Friday. Um, then you have you can relax all weekend then sunday come back fresh and good to go okay infantry you're going to do your second exercise in you're going to do like um patrol skills so that's like ambushes rec reconnaissance patrols ops so that's like digging slightly digging in and sort of um you know getting in what's it, it's like basically getting in a hole and just observing this is all very basic standard depending on where you go in your infantry regiment so if you go to the recce platoon you will do a lot advanced on them skills a lot more because that's their specific job um, and, and yes so everything in the infantry is that sort of broad brush basic standard everything will be advanced on even more when you arrive in the regiment so that's patrol exercise third exercise then it's going to be like a, like a defensive exercise because that's a tactic as well so you'll be taught how to dig a trench now people think trenches it's now 2020 they were in world war one no trenches trench warfare is still a thing they were used in syria which was like two three years ago so they're still used in modern warfare so you'd be taught how to build them correctly and then how you would live in it and what rotation you would go through and um, to be able to sustain yourself in a trench and to make yourself uh, to be able to fight effective effectively from it you'll also touch on urban warfare so you'll have, go into the sort of village it's there it's like an old married quarters that everything, all the houses have been taken, uh, all the stuff out of it. Um, and you'll go through how to clear rooms, how to defend houses, um, just all the sort of bits and pieces you do as an infantry, but in that type of environment. And that's a very base standard. So you'll also have your first exposure to simunition. So that's where you'll take the bolt out of your rifle and you will put another bolt into it and it basically turns the SA80, <coughs> excuse me, into a paintball gun on steroids. So that's a really good thing. So you'll do force on force with that. Um, yeah, you'll see people properly taking fire positions when you're when you're going amongst that. Right, so after that, then you're going to be going into um, your final X. Uh, your final X then is a is blank as well. But that so if you imagine then the first week all attacks, second week all your patrol actions, the third week's all defensive stuff. That final X will incorporate an aspect of each week into one big package for that week of farm. So yes, you'll do the blank farm part and then you'll roll into the live farm. Now this, like I said on my last video, is the most pinnacle part of any part within the British Army, is live farm. Other than actually deploying in real-time operations, it is the best thing to do in the army, is, is doing that soldier piece, live farms, live bullets, live grenades, live machine guns, everything. Flipping brilliant class. And as soon as that there is done, that is you, technically trained, but you're going to come back to camp and then you're going to conduct a sort of week of admin so that you're going to get ready to close down your accommodation you've been living in for the past six months. So cleaning it, getting into a good standard for the next lot going to come through. And then you're putting a lot of effort into your number twos. So your number twos is like your fancy uniform. Each regiment will have a different style of uh, dress. And then you're going to be putting a lot of effort into that and a lot more drill because you're going to get ready for your pass off parade. Perbright, you have done it weeks ago for week 14, I think, if that's right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but Catrick, now you're coming to do your pass-off parade. Same for both 
establishments all your friends and family get invited you all come down and um, you feel so proud before you go on there yeah you'll be rehearsing it all week you'll go down do a parade march on there'll be like different rewards given and um, for like best shop best, best fitness uh best recruit all all round uh there's all sorts of different re- rewards there um, and then there will be a, normally a commanding officer or some sort of officer will come down, give you a speech, um, and, and then that's you then, yeah, parade fall out, and away you go, and that is you, a 100% trained soldier. Um, Perbright, you've still got a little bit more training to do at your different establishment, so phase two, but Catrick, as soon as you come off that parade square, that is you, you are trained up, good to go, basic trained, and uh, phase two infantry trained, so that is you off the unit. And that pretty much comes to the end. Um, so what we'll touch on quickly before we end this video off is when you arrive to a unit, some of the people who are the same rank as you, so in my case Rangers, uh, they will be like 5-6 years, same rank as you, but they've been in the job for 5 or 6 years. Some of them will have deployed in operations and done the business for real. So go into your unit with the same mindset as you did when you first arrived at basic training. So keen wanting to learn and be respectful of everyone around you. You need to prove yourself to the team because this is not a a such commander who's just grading you on assessments and training. This is a person who potentially you and that such commander and you and that other ranger are going to be flipping fighting with. Uh, you're going to be saving their life or they're going to be saving their life. So it's a totally different atmosphere. You've got to go in there wanting to prove to them that you are the dog's balls and that you are the one to take uh, the first pick whether we, whenever we go on operations. So give everyone the respect and you will get the respect back. Right, that is us. Okay, and I will see you again in a few days for another video. Um, stay around on here on the stories and stuff uh, and I'll give an announcement on what they may be. But, same again, thank you very much for sticking with us. I appreciate it and I will see you all again in the next video.